Welcome to Blossom and Rise. It's your girl, Amber Toysilla, host and creator of Blossom and Rise. It's been a while since I dropped a video. I mean, last my last video, which I will put up here, was about my trip to Arthur Finley College in the United Kingdom and my 10-day journey um, about it. I, um, I was there for 10 days, but I think I only vlogged for seven days, but it's it's condensed and I learned a lot in that. So again, like check it out. It'll be um, up here and at the end of the video, I'll post it too as well. Okay. So today I'm going to talk about the glow. Okay. For those of you who have not seen me in a while, I've been told all week that I have like this amazing glow really since I've gotten back from my trip. And a lot of change has happened in my life a lot of change. Um, September 1st, my almost four year relationship ended and I had to find somewhere to live. My whole world was just like turned upside down. And within that, um, finding somewhere to live with Mendo. Mendo is my little pup who is, he's on the bed. You can't really, oh, maybe you can't see him. Nope, you can just see my, my luggage from, from work. Um, so it's been really hard for me trying to find somewhere to live with him in the county that I live. A lot of people do not want pets um, on, at their homes, even though he's crate trained, which you can see the little crate like right there. He's crate trained. He's a good, good pup. Um, so I found housing right now. So I'm really happy. My goal is to get my own place, which I'm filling it into existence. It's going to happen. It's just only about a amount of time and it's mercury retrograde. So then a lot of shit is like twisted and all around. Right. Um, so within that time before I left, I actually um, was reunited with a past life connection, um, which I think I'm going to make a video about soon. Um, I am going to be making a training on how you can recognize um, a soul connection with another individual um, soon. So stay tuned for that. But um, this glow, so like it, it, it's, a, it's a whole bunch of factors into one as to why I am glowing and why I've been so happy lately. But I want to say the most important one is creating a routine to sit in my power. Now you may be wondering what that means. Okay. So what that means is as a practicing medium, okay, this is what I learned from the Arthur Finley College. When you sit in your power, it's about extending your aura outward and my aura like the seat of my soul is in my heart, my heart chakra. A lot of people, it's in their solar plexus where people have, you know, the gut feeling or whatnot. Don't mind my pet Mendo, he's playing in the background. Um, I digress. So the seat of your soul is wherever um, you feel most connected. So it would be my heart. So what I do is I sit in meditation and I feel and see my aura expand, right? And I learned that when I was giving readings before, like in a group, atmosphere, I would have this blinding headache afterwards and not really understanding where it came from. And I learned that it was because my aura started restricting back when spirit was trying to come in and give information. So when my aura condensed, it was, I mean, physically, the energy shifted and it started, it started getting harder. So like, I'm struggling trying to get information. Therefore, I'm like getting a physical element because of it. So once we learned how to sit in our power by extending our aura outward, communication comes in a lot, a lot easier um, for me to discern and, and give. So I've been sitting in my power for about five, 10 minutes every morning at eight o'clock, like between 7.45 to eight o'clock every day, and it has made a huge impact on my day to day, so much so that people can see the glow in my energy field. because. I'm glowing. And like I said, it's multiple factors, but I want to say the primary factor is that I'm taking time out of my morning each morning, dedicating it to sitting in my power. Therefore, I am increasing my own power. Okay. And you can do this too. Okay. Find a time in your day, whether it be in the morning, afternoon, or evening. Okay. Whatever your preference is that you could take time for yourself to sit in a meditative state, okay? A lot of people say that they can't meditate. That's a lie. We all can meditate, okay? It's a real thing. We can do it. And how you do it is just you sit. And if you have constant thoughts, that's normal because you're human. Just focus in on your breath. Let thoughts come in as they may, right? And just sit 
and be present, okay? And once you're able to do that, then you can go ahead and start envisioning your aura expanding and coming back, expanding and coming back, okay? And eventually like encompassing the whole earth and then sit in that power. It feels magnificent. It is magnificent because you are magnificent, okay? You have all this abundance of power within you, okay? So that's my tip for today, for the week, sitting in your power, okay? Now, if you guys are not following me on social media, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna do that because that's where I release um, all the new stuff that I'm doing, like the events of the training of how to recognize a soul connection, as well as blossom into your power, which I will be relaunching again after the Mercury retrograde, okay, which is November 20th. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna be super, super appreciative that this period is done, okay, <laughs> for real. Um, so yeah, Blossom Into Your Power is my spiritual development program that I am revamping. It's a three-month program um, that I'm doing group and individual, okay? So I'll be talking about that more as the release is approaching. And I'm on Instagram at Blossom and Rise and on Facebook at Blossom and Rise. I mean, you can just search me up and you can find my page. Um, I'm currently giving readings and um, so you can schedule with me. Everything's going to be linked below. Um, if you've heard of sitting in your power before, it is a spiritualist term. If you are a spiritualist, holla at your girl. Comment below. I love that. Um, and then any other questions, holler at me, okay? If you follow me on Instagram, please go ahead and like and comment my last post so that I can know who you are. And I love engagement. Communication is everything, right? All right, guys. We'll keep it trill. And... I'll see you soon.